So looking at this trend, where I have a lot of timing at lower RPMs, and then my timing dips around 2800 to 3200 RPMs, and then it builds back up again. You can see this discoloration here. Then I know that this car has a smaller turbocharger that gives you peak boost and peak volumetric efficiency in this range right here. And then as we go up into higher RPMs, the volumetric efficiency and the boost probably drops off, and so you can see the timing increase again as we go up into this range over here. You can kind of tell from the discoloration in the map how that goes. And so if you look at this, like I said, this is absolute vacuum right here. This is about zero PSI between 8,000 and 9,000, and this is about 15 pounds of boost right here. So in absolute vacuum, you can see my mechanical timing increasing from 13 degrees all the way up to 42 degrees. You can see in boost, I retard about 7 or 8 degrees going this way and then here you can read the volumetric efficiency. So if you're tuning and you get um, a graph of your dyno for your engine and you plug in the numbers, uh, in the next version of the power calculator I'm going to give you a place where you can plug in five or six data points and get a VE graph and you can figure out from that your, your uh, timing trend. Not exact numbers, like I said it varies from car to car, but you're going to have a trend. And if you look at your timing trend and you find that you want minimum timing at around 4800 RPMs, for example, if you have peak VE here. And then you look at your car's timing map and you see that your timing um, is at a minima here because this is where it had peak VE as a stock car, then you know that this map isn't tuned for your car and you need to shift things around to make it work so that you can probably advance timing in this range a little bit, gain more power, retard it a little bit here, and be more safe. And then depending on what happens at higher RPMs, if your VE stays flat or goes up or go down, goes down, you can adjust these numbers a little bit. Um, so let me just summarize. Um, I've explained uh, concepts of timing advance with reference to RPM and flame front travel speed. I've showed you how to calculate your volumet volumetric efficiency using the power calculator for any RPM you want to check. And I've showed you uh, my Excel calculation of how to make a simulation, um, a simulation and trend line for your timing. And I've also showed you how to read a timing map so that you can break down the map into different parts which is your mechanical timing, your base timing and your load based or your volumetric efficiency based timing and also how to look at the trends in your map and figure out where you have your peaks and your troughs in timing. Thank you for following my videos and thank you for visiting superchargerperformance.com